Is there any placement of outlets required for non-dwelling units such as commercial, offices, industrial, and similar areas? If yes, where an outlet are required to place? Our topic is about non-dwelling units, receptacle outlets, where required. Hello, fellow electrical practitioners, electricians, and future engineers. This video will discuss the required outlets for non-dwelling units covered under Section 2.10.3 of the 2017 Philippine Electrical Code. Section 2.10.3 covers the general rules of installation of outlets for both dwelling and non-dwelling units. Further, the code specifies which type of installation of outlet will be acceptable. We are all familiar with typical outlet installation. However, in paragraphs A and B, the code permitted a permanent cord pendant outlet and cord connection with attachment plug to be used in areas where outlets are required. Here are the areas of non-dwelling units where outlets are required. For guest rooms, guest suites, dormitories, and similar occupancies, an outlet shall be installed in accordance with the subsection 2.10.3.3 A and D. For the subsection 2.10.3.3A, specify that every room such as kitchen, bedroom, living room, dining room and similar areas, an outlet shall be installed at no point on a wall as over 1,800 mm from an outlet. While subsection 2.10.3.3 D is for the bathroom, where required outlet must be installed within 900 mm from top of the basin, or 300 mm below the top of the basin or basin counter. Provide necessary power supply for the electrical cooking equipment in compliance with section 2.10.3.3. This layout is the minimum required number of outlets in compliance with section 2.10.3.3, A and D. Compared with dwelling units, guest rooms of hotels and motels and dormitories allows required outlets to be placed in permanent furniture in readily accessible locations. Guest rooms are commonly used as remote offices of guests. Laptop and other plug-in devices can be significant. Our electrical code requires that two receptacle outlets be available without requiring the movement of furniture to access those receptacles, and without using of extension cord. If an outlet is located under the bed, to reduce the risk of bedding material fires, receptacle outlet located behind bed must include guards if attachment plugs could contact the bed. For show windows, in section 2.10.3.13, at least one receptacle outlet to be installed with 450 mm from the top show window, and there must be no point along the top of the show window that is farther than 3,700 mm from receptacle outlet. Section 210, 3.14 states that, at least one accessible outlet is required in servicing heating, air conditioning, and refrigeration equipment. This outlet must be installed within 7,500 mm from the equipment it serves and the location of the outlet must be at the same level as the equipment. During repair of the equipment, the disconnect means will be on-off position for the safety of technician. Hence, service outlet must be connected on the line side of the disconnect means, if it is connected in the same branch circuit. Evaporative coolers of one or two family dwelling is exempted from this section. For the indoor electrical service areas, at least one outlet is required in accessible location within 7,500 mm from the indoor electrical service equipment. This outlet must be on the same room of the service equipment. This section exempts one and two family dwelling units, as stated in exception one. In exception two, if the service voltage is over 120 volts to ground, and services dedicated to equipment covered in article 675 and 682, Article 6.75 is about irrigation machines, while Article 682 is about naturally and artificially made bodies of water. Section 2.10.3.22a states that a meeting room with less than 93 square meter will require a minimum number of outlets. For a meeting room with a movable partition, the size shall be determined by the partition in the position that results to the smallest room size. For the placement of required outlets, it shall comply with section 2.10.3.22b. The placement of an outlet for a meeting room less than 93 square meters shall comply with subsections 2.10.3.3a1 through a4 as stated in section 2.10.3.3.22b1. This means that outlets must be installed at no point on a wall as not more than 1,800 millimeters from an outlet, 
A meeting room at least 3,700 mm wide of at least 20 square meter in area shall be provided with floor outlets, and floor outlets must be located within 1,800 mm of the fixed wall of every 20 square meters of the room. We have now identified which areas of the non-dwelling units the code required an outlet to be installed. Compare with dwelling units only a few areas of non-dwelling units have a requirement of placement of outlets. Further, the code specifies which method of installation shall be permitted to comply with the required outlets. In conclusion, not having sufficient receptacle outlets may lead to using an extension cord, power strips, and adapter plugs. All of the above will create potential hazards such as the risk of tripping over leads, electric shock, overload, and fire hazards. Outlet spacing affects the safety, convenience, and efficiency of our electrical system. Thank you for watching. If want to know more about required outlets and the electrical code, please follow my channel, together let's decode the electrical code.